what is up guys welcome back to the german muscle channel so i made a few posts on facebook in the e38 group and i was trying to see if anybody can give me some pointers on how i can get my car fixed because it wouldn't start and everybody was saying check the fuses the battery all this and that and nobody said anything about the key yet so i already suspect that it's the key that's bad just because i had an e46 with the same problem one day i went to start it up would not start up no crank no start nothing and then like a whole month later i went and bought a brand new key for it and it started right up so i think that is the key anyway uh the video that i was watching some dude um disconnected the mass airflow sensor on his car and tried to start the car up then it started up before it went and started or something like that and uh, I tried that I tried looking for all the fuses that were bad and everything seemed to be fine uh, the car didn't start when I uh, disconnected the master force sensor so I was just watching the video where a guy was reprogramming his key same as that key as this except for his had like a light right here but what he did was he held the unlock button put the key in the ignition turned it over took the key back out held the uh lock button down pressed the unlock button a couple times and then kept holding the unlock button put the key back in the ignition and it started up so the only thing is i need two hands for this because i gotta hold the key and do all that and then i gotta also put the screwdriver down there and see if i can start the car up anyways i'm going to try to reprogram this key hopefully it works i got it jump starting right now and uh hopefully i can get this thing started so i'm gonna try to do all this with one hand so this is what he did he held the unlock button put the key in the ignition turned it over like that and i have to turn this over at the same time take the key out turn this off hold this at the same time click 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 it's supposed to unlock and lock the car, but, okay, so I guess my car's not getting enough power, so I'm going to have to mess with the jumper cables a little bit more and get them fixed up. Okay, so take two. So I'm going to put the screwdriver in the ignition starter switch. I'm going to hold, wait, yeah, so he held the button down. He put the key in the ignition. Whoa. <laughs> okay, so it does work. Uh, turned over. It started rolling the windows down. So I'm gonna take it back out, hold, and unlock at the same time. Okay, so I need to redo that. All right, so I'm gonna try this one more time and hopefully this works. It did roll my windows down. Hopefully you guys heard that, but hold the unlock button, put the key. Okay, so it rolls the windows down when I do that. I don't know how well you guys can hear that. Yeah, you can actually see right here. So hold the unlock button, key in the ignition. It rolls all the windows down and the sunroof. Okay, so I'm gonna Turn the car over. Lock, unlock, lock, unlock, unlock. It's not doing anything. Hopefully this starts. <laughs> it doesn't start, dude. What the heck? I don't know why it rolls the windows down, dude. That's crazy. Hey, I guess I just... What the heck? I guess I just... Sunroof. Why ain't the sunroof cutting out? Okay, so you gotta hold the button. I don't know if I just found a hack or if that's just something I didn't know. Only thing I did was hold the lock button and put the key in the ignition and turn it over. So that means that this key does go to this car. It is programmed to it. But I'm trying to reprogram it. So... Let me do this one more time. It's kind of hard to do because I gotta like 
try to start the car at the same time as I'm doing all this. So hold the key, lock button. Take it out. Okay, so Okay, so it is doing it. Okay. Wonder if I just Okay, I don't know how well you guys heard it, but it locked the car and unlocked it. You guys heard the alarm, hopefully. So, that does work, but I keep letting off of the lock button for some reason. So, I'm going to try this one more time. Actually, I'm going to try it until I get it right. Because I want this damn thing to work. I want to be able to drive my car. So, just bear with me now. Seems how... I have to start the car with the damn screwdriver. It's gonna be kind of hard. So, press and hold the lock button or the unlock button. Take everything out. Lock, unlock, lock, lock. It's not wanting to do it now. Okay, so apparently, uh oh, apparently it's working for the, uh, apparently it's wanting to work, but you have to, I want to show you guys again, I know I probably explained it like 30 times already, but you have to hold the lock button. And you have to put the key. Okay, so if you hold the unlock button down. So what you have to do is you have to hold the unlock button down. And I guess it rolls the windows down too. Because <laughs> I wonder if you hold the lock button if it rolls the windows up. I'm showing you both my hands so you guys can't say that I'm like faking it or whatever. Okay, so I want to try this without um, putting the screwdriver in the ignition starter switch. So hold the unlock button down, put the key in the ignition, take it back out. One, two, three. Okay, it's not working. So I'm going to need someone to turn this over as I'm trying to do all the stuff with the key. I'm going to try to do it one more time. This is kind of like difficult. Cause, okay. Hold on my button. Turn it over. Take it out. This is the dumb part because I've got to hold the key and turn this off at the same time. Lock, unlock. It's not wanting to do it now. Okay. I don't know, but okay, so I guess it doesn't work that way. So, unless I'm doing something wrong, which I don't know, I could be, but what it showed in the video was the dude was holding the unlock button, put the key in the ignition, turned the car over as he was still holding the button. Took the key out, pressed the lock button a couple times as he was holding the unlock button. And then he put the key back in the ignition and held it as he was turning it over. And then once he got to this point, he let go of the unlock button and the car started. I can't do it that simple because I have to use a screwdriver down here in the ignition starter switch at the same time. So this is kind of difficult, but... I did find out if you hold the unlock button, it rolls the windows down. That is freaking awesome. So anyways, um, if you guys like this video, leave a thumbs up on it. Let me know down in the comments if I'm doing this wrong. I know I'm probably going to uh, come out here later on and have my uh, mom try to start the car up with the screwdriver as I'm doing it with the key. 
But let me know down in the comments if you guys know what I can do to fix this because it seems like the key is working. So I don't know what the heck is wrong with this car. It just will not start. So let me know down in the comments if you know. So anyways, that's all I have for this video. Like, comment, subscribe. And turn on bell notifications. Follow me on Instagram at German underscore muscle underscore E. And I will see you guys in the next video.